Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back. I just want to thank you all so much for 30 subscribers. This was my goal for me this month, and it just... It might not be a lot right now, but I mean, it was only a while ago that I was celebrating 25 subscribers. And I mean, this is something very big for me. And I'm really happy about it, and maybe we can get it to 35 by the end of this month. I don't know, maybe. Let's try it. And yes, it is another back to school video, but we're actually going to include some art so maybe you guys can join in. And today, as from the title, we are going to be doing the... I was about to say the three marker challenge, which I'll link into the description and the card at the top of the screen. Self-promo. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be making art with school supplies for this video. Now, I'm going to include all of the school supplies that I put in my very first back to school video which I will put into the card at the top of the screen and in the description so you guys can check that out. And I'm not going to use any markers or special paper, pencil crayons. I'm just going to use um, school supplies for my school. So I'm just making a list of all the school supplies I'll be limiting myself to for this challenge. So I'm going to use sharpie markers, uh, pens, loose leaf paper which is the thickest I'll find, Sharpie highlighters, which are the only colors I'm going to use, and number two pencils for the sketch. Alright, so here are all the supplies I'm going to be using, and I'm not going to limit myself to any of the high-tech kind of art stuff because that's not really for school, so I'm just going to use all these, okay? So I've got these highlighters, these Sharpies that I got from the dollar store. They did dry out, but now they're better. And then... These two paper mate pens. They're different models, but they still are good. And a pencil and a big studio eraser that I ripped the thing off of. Okay, now I have two pieces of paper that I'm going to be testing the swatches on. This paper is quite thicker than this paper, but they're both quite light, especially for the markers that are going on which are going to be the first ones I'm going to swatch. Well, these are all really great. And, all right, they both don't show up at all. I'll just layer one right now. And usually when you layer it onto this soft of a paper, it like crinkles up or like, starts breaking up the paper and as you can see from here it's really showing up and I'm gonna try the same on here you see it's taking a bit longer for it to break up the paper and then it is still showing up but just a bit less so this paper is the clear winner all right now moving on to the sharpies just do some swatches here. It's probably not safe to do this over top of my desk, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh. oh, I guess this one didn't dry out fully yet. All right, well, I'll just leave that over on the side. And I've already done the black, the blue. All right, and yeah, they show up pretty brightly. Ew. <laughs> yeah, they show up quite through this stuff. But yeah, they work pretty well. Then the original pencil just works well. You do it really hard. Shouldn't have done that right over top the squiggle thing. Then I've got these two pens. And also the two erasers, one off the back of the pencil, and the larger eraser. And they both work really well. Alright, now I'm gonna try and layer these markers together, and then layer all the others to see how well they work. Now these Sharpies are supposed to be smear proof, so I'm just gonna test that out right now. Okay, they're smearing a bit. I'll leave this next one to dry a bit after 
and we'll get back to that later. Now I'm going to try and layer these two together to make a green that's brighter than this, or greener than that, you know what I mean. Ow! Oh, you see that, guys? I just made a green from a grade 2 art tip. And then get the residue off here. That can lead to some cool shading, blending stuff. Okay, kind of getting like plant vibes from here. And let's retry this one. Yep, smear proof. And now I'm going to try it with the pen really quickly. There are some smears, so I'll have to take note of that when I'm doing the artwork. Okay, it's coming off, that's good. <laughs> and now I'm going to try Sharpie on Sharpie. Guess they all should go out too. Oh, I am so surprised that's happening. They're just going over it so perfectly. Good job with the Sharpie brand. I think that's it. Okay, so I've done some other swatches. As you can see, I just did a swatch from the rainbow. And I'm just going to let you guys know that when I do this with one of the highlighters and do this over top of it, you can kind of see a seam part to it. It's not that good on this paper, which is really great for when I'm making artwork. But like... Yeah, you can clearly see lines on that, but maybe I can work that to my advantage. And then I can just do this and no lines. Perfect. So that's all I want to let you know. Now I'm going to go on to find an idea for my theme. Now when I was creating this, I was really trying to figure out what would look good with really dark art supplies and really vibrant art supplies. And to try and make it still school. And so I thought, huh, maybe flowers. But what does that have to do with school? So then I realized it would be a fun idea to do two types of media. Put flowers into a backpack and give it a more of a detailed and a more of a colorful kind of thing. So that's what I did. You know it's dark when the camera can't even get some light in. So for the making art with school supplies, I feel that this worked actually pretty well. I could have done uh, some more work on it, but I feel like I did it to the best of my ability for now. So thanks guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And if you want to see different things, please follow my Instagram accounts. They'll be at the bottom of the screen. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!